This video will demonstrate how to get a US Robotics 3G cellular gateway connected to a GSM cellular network such as AT&T, T-Mobile, Vodafone, and many others. For connecting to a CDMA cellular network, please watch the CDMA connectivity video at the US Robotics channel on YouTube. First, there are a few requirements before you can get connected. You'll need to contact a cellular service provider for a subscription to a data plan on a 3G GSM cellular network. Ask your US Robotics sales representative if you need help finding a cellular service provider. The SIM card that you receive from the cellular service provider must be installed into the gateway. For a demonstration of installing the SIM into the gateway, watch the USR 3510 SIM card installation video at the US Robotics channel on YouTube. If the cellular network you're using requires an access point name, you'll need that from your cellular service provider. If the cellular network you're using requires an assigned username and password, you'll need those from your cellular service provider. You'll need a computer with a web browser and an Ethernet port. And you'll need a short Ethernet cable to connect your computer to the gateway. To get connected, first attach the two antennas that are included with the gateway to the two SMA connectors on the top of the gateway's front panel. Next, log in to the gateway's embedded GUI. Launch your computer's web browser. Then connect a short Ethernet cable from your computer to the gateway. Enter IP address 192.168.1.1. Log in using the default username and password. Now you should decide how you will prevent excessive data usage during gateway setup. The method that I'll show in this video works for applications that use the gateway's serial port and for applications that use the gateway to make only mobile terminated connections to its Ethernet port. Also, the method shown in this video assumes that your application is not going to use the USR universe to deliver over-the-air updates to the gateway. If your application is different from these, please watch the Excessive Data Warning video and the Introduction to the USR Universe video at the US Robotics channel on YouTube to help you decide how to best prevent excessive data usage while setting up the gateway for your application. But if your application does match these descriptions, proceed with these next steps. Select the Firewall tab. The LAN to LAN setting is the first entry in the default policies section of the firewall and its factory default is accept. Simply change this setting to reject and then click save changes. To make the firewall change effective, select the system tab scroll to or select the system reboot section and reboot the gateway. After the gateway reboots, log back in. and select the Provisioning tab. Scroll to or select the Settings section. Disable the Automatic Provisioning feature and then click Save Changes. Now that you've addressed excessive data usage, configure the gateway for the GSM network that your cellular data plan uses. Pull down the Interfaces tab and select the 3G connection page. 
Some models of the gateway allow you to select from a list of cellular networks. Scroll down to the bottom of the general section and look for the list. If your cellular network is not already selected, click the radio button of the cellular network that you have subscribed to. When using the AT&T network, select AT&T. For other GSM operators, select UMTS Generic. Then click Save Changes. Once a GSM network is selected, a Network Settings section will become available. For all models of the gateway, scroll to or select the Network Settings section. If your service provider gave you an APN, enter it into the APN box. If the gateway has auto-entered the correct APN, there's no need to re-enter it. The Network Settings section also presents a username box and a password box. If your service provider gave you a username and password, enter those into these boxes. Or, if your service provider informed you that the network requires an arbitrary username and password, pick a username and password and enter them into these boxes. Then, if you've entered an APN or username and password, click Save Changes. Once the gateway is configured for the correct GSM cellular network, the correct APN, and a valid username and password, it will automatically connect to the cellular network and to the Internet. If your cellular service is active, the connection usually happens in just a few seconds. If your cellular service activation is still pending, the front panel indicator, labeled WAN state, will turn green once the service is activated. You can verify within the Gateway GUI that connectivity is successful. Select the Home tab. The Connection Status section at the top of the home page will report that the cellular connectivity is successful. Once the gateway is connected, proceed with any other changes to the gateway configuration that are required by your application. Then, log out, close the browser, and disconnect the Ethernet cable. For online documentation and for technical support, please visit www usr.com slash support slash 3510. I hope you found this video helpful for getting connected to a GSM cellular network. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing US Robotics.